Hello. I am, hold on, I'm at a pay phone. There's a truck going by. Oh, God, dang. Talk about noise pollution. Okay. First of all, i got two things to ask you, and then I want to tell you something. Okay. First, why did you guys tell my brother that Tracy was sick? Huh? Why did you guys tell my brother that Tracy was sick? I don't think you did. I think Doug did. Because I don't believe that. But anyway. Well, huh? Dick's Be not sick. Well, I don't know who told him that. We wouldn't have told your brother that. There's Doug no did. No, no, no. This was the other day. Okay. Okay. Yes. Also, how come... What's his name? Burke. I don't know if I can remember that man's name. How yeah. come he says that I'm playing a charade? I heard this from the newspaper yesterday. What's up? A charade? Yeah. I have no idea. As far as I know... Uh, and how did I get on TV again on Saturday or something like that? I don't know. I didn't see that either. Okay. No, I talked to the sheriff this morning, Diane, and, uh, you know, we discussed what... Uh, what the three of us talked about it, uh, as far as I know, he hasn't been the media at all regarding this. Well, Springfield News called him yesterday, and then they called me, and he asked me what my talk with Burks was about, and I told him I really couldn't tell him because it was nothing for the media, and I wouldn't tell him anything. Okay. And then he says, well, that's basically what I get out of Burks, except that Burks said that you were playing a charade, and that pissed me off, because I went down there and spent three and a half hours with you guys, Try and get something worked out. Now, uh, no, I don't. I never uh, got I know, that indication. From, really, I'm I curious. didn't either. That's what made me so angry. Is why yeah. would he go to the media? That's going to come out in the paper, and that's really going to make me mad. It to made me mad honest, last night. To be honest with you, he's he's very careful with the media, and I don't doubt very much he would say something like that because that's you know that's just something that's going to make everybody mad. Yeah, like me. <laughs> he never gave me that kind of. Indication. Me either. I really thought that he was paying attention the other night. I mean, I wasted three and a half hours if he thinks it's a charade. Also, I would like for you to come over and your buddy, you guys run around like Mormons, there's always two of you. You and whoever, to come on over to my house. Do you know where my parents live? Please be over there this evening at 7 o'clock. Yes. All right. I want to talk to you guys. I talked to a friend. I told you everything about the case except for one thing, and that was the true conversation that I had with this joker. Damn, it's noisy out here. Yeah. I'm, at, I'm at work. I'm getting ready to go back into the office, and I didn't want to make this call from the office. And when you find out what the conversation was about, you'll know why. Please be very discreet or I will get killed, and I just as soon stay alive. All right, see you guys at 7 if you want to be there. Okay, we'll be there. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Date is 7-19-83, and I received this call at 13.25 hours.